start with panic on campus. Students at MIT told to take shelter and barricade their doors. It all started with a shooting off campus and an alarming tweet. Paul Burton is live in Cambridge tonight with a closer look at what went wrong. Paul? Well, I can tell you this. An alert did go out and from MIT saying that there, someone had been shot and that shooter was still on the loose. But what's clear is that the shooting happened here in, on the streets of Cambridge, on Portland Street and on Main Street, and that the shooter was never on the MIT campus. I was quite scared, I guess. A false alarm on MIT campus. On Sunday, students and faculty were sent email, text, and social media alerts indicating an active shooter on campus after a shooting was reported nearby, saying, if in the area of shots fired, evacuate if possible. If unable to evacuate, seek shelter, lock and barricade doors, turn off lights and silence cell phones, move away from doors and windows. If confronted by shooter, attack using improvised weapons. We were inside the building, so they just said we couldn't leave and we just had to stay in. Cambridge police say a 25-year-old woman from Roxbury was shot at the intersection of Portland and Main Streets during the Caribbean Festival, not on the MIT campus. The woman was taken to the hospital. The shooter fled the scene. Cambridge police say the MIT alert came from the school. That was brought to our attention. We actually had a representative from MIT in our emergency communication center. Uh, we communicated with that representative to let them know that it was not an active shooter on the MIT campus and just to dispel that rumor and, and we tried to do that as soon as possible. Students and faculty were eventually sent a second alert saying Police continue to search for the suspect in the earlier shooting. Suspect is not believed to be on campus. It's very important that that confusion doesn't happen. As soon as we heard that that tweet went out, we tried to communicate that back to MIT campus through that representative to dispel that rumor. I personally thought it was fine. It may have not been on campus, but it was right next to the Brandon Cognitive Sciences building, basically. So I think it's worth people knowing about it. At least, like, we know if the person happened to come our way, like, we'd be ready. I don't know what process led them to to leave that tweet out. I mean, maybe there was a mistake, maybe there wasn't. I couldn't say. Now, in regards to those tweets, Cambridge Police says we have to speak to MIT. MIT did not return our calls tonight. The woman who was shot in the leg, she is expected to be okay. Those are non-life-threatening injuries. In regards to the shooter, that suspect is still on the loose. Anyone with information is asked to contact Cambridge Police. We're live in Cambridge. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.